Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Anchor of the Week. My name is Courtney. And my name is Lucas. We're an initiative of Hope in Our Greek Community Church in London. Each week, we'll discuss different topics relevant to faith and Christianity in today's culture. We are here to build a space for the church to share our experiences and challenge one another to grow in living like Jesus. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Anchor of the Week. We have missed you. <laughs> yes, we have. I know. It's, it's been so weird not being here yeah, in the yeah, podcast. Yeah. I know. We're already here in 2021, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I suppose that is how years work, you know. <laughs> yeah. Each week passes and uh, here we are. It's so random. Yeah. Like, I know. It feels like every year it's just going even faster. Well, that's the thing. The older I get, I used to make fun of my parents for saying, <laughs> oh, it just feels like, you know, it was yeah. the 80s just yesterday or whatever. But literally right before we were recording this, I was talking to like some of the team here yeah. and we were like, oh, 2011 was 10 years ago. And like, <laughs> how does time fly like that, you know? Well, we are actually doing stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it is true. We have responsibilities. Oh. You said responsibilities, I said time flies and we're having fun, so, you know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> different outlook, same, same result. No, we have different thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so, how have you been? What's new in Lucas's life? Good, I guess. I mean, nothing new so much. Yeah. <laughs> but we can't do much with the whole lockdown situation. That's true. Um, especially here in UK, I guess. Yep. But, Getting yeah. Getting lots of takeaway coffees. That's we... We found a way to follow the rules, I guess, and still meet with yeah. friends um, yeah. when we can. Um, Not taking it for granted, for sure. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Not at all. It, 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 I think that's the thing with this like whole situation. It's like literally makes you appreciate so much every second of yeah. everything. Yeah. Because before we would take our families and friends everything like for granted so easily, and now it's yeah. like. Any minute outside with the sun, I know, it's just it's perfect. <laughs> it's my favorite day, you know. That <laughs> elusive sun here in yeah. the, the winter in England, but before yeah. we we didn't get much, and now we get even less because we are inside it's the true. house. <laughs> it's true. I know. But so yeah. Now I have a question for you, Lucas. Mm-hmm. Um, to abruptly change topics, did you make any New Year's resolutions for 2021? Oh, don't put me in the spot. <laughs> do I already think I know your answer? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I do. The, I, yeah, I'm. Even though in some things I seem organized, I'm not that organized. You know, I, I, I don't think I have set too many goals for you this like year. You don't like sit down and say, okay, yeah, this no. is like this is what I want for this yeah, year. Yeah, my dad sits like being you know, the first year and the day, the year be- and the day before of the year is like a whole book with <laughs> really <laughs> all the goals that he wants for the next year. Oh my gosh! And then he prays over it. Yeah, I'm not that. Oh yeah, <laughs> I me, want to. Me but neither, but. <laughs> We can all grow to be like Lucas's dad, maybe. A little yeah, bit maybe. More. Um, <laughs> but it's interesting, though, because yeah. like the most of the people that I've asked, I would say a solid like nine out of ten people um, would were saying like, "Oh, I'm not going to set any like New Year's resolutions for this year because of what happened last year." Like, basically, what's the point? Yeah. Which I thought was so interesting. Like my, like me myself, like I'm not huge on like the whole resolutions thing, you know. And honestly, what are we like end of January at this point? Most people like typically have already given up on their uh, New Year's resolutions. Not wow. to be like, you know, depressing, but that's true. Not to negative. You know, I think just because we're starting a new year, all of a sudden you have like new... I mean, like, this year, passion, next right? year... Ha- blue, sorry, I can't do English. Um, <laughs> Try again. <laughs> last year didn't help much, I guess, yeah. with the whole situation. And if you're not, I guess, too much, too close to God, then it will be probably very easy to just lose hope for the next mm-hmm. year. Um, and that's the thing, though. Even Christians, though, that I've talked to yeah, have said, like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, like, kind of set any goals, like, because expectations last year got totally shot, you know? And so this kind of brings us to what we're going to talk about today um, is, yeah, like, what do we what do we do with this? You know, like, how do we still live with goals or with vision and all of that in mm. in the world right now and in this current climate, you know? And when everyone around us is like, oh, there's no point, you know? Mm. Like, how, how do we as Christians... This is a question that like, we need to ask ourselves. Like, how do we actually be people of vision, I guess? I guess now that I think about it, like, you cannot, you cannot have vision or goal if you don't accept the process. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's why people yeah. are we we cannot appreciate or 
we don't have hope for the next year because we already don't understand the process mm. of what God was doing last year. Mm. And now we're like, whatever, it, it yeah. sucked for me because, of course, it sucked for you because you weren't there. You weren't there to like see what God was doing. You weren't, mm. your eyes weren't open for it. Yeah. Um, also, maybe that's one of the, the issues with the word goal as well. Mm. Because I feel like, yes, goal is something that you work towards, but... You expect achievement. Yeah, exactly. It's more focused on the achievement as opposed to, I don't know, I think we already said like vision, right? Or like having a vision for it, like mm -hmm. the new year as in like, hey, like this is like, this is like where we want to go. Like this is what, like how we want to do it, mm -hmm. if this makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's like the word goal and vision do give you like a sort of different sense to mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Like vision is more like, okay, it's something like long goal. And this whole process for it and whatever. And then the goal is more like, okay, task oriented. Like I'm going to do this and I'm going to gain check this. Check it off. Yeah. And yeah. then you check it off. But actually on the goal, it's the same. Like you still have a process to do it. And it's not, I, I feel like the words are the same, but we still get the different, a different vibe to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like we mm -hmm. still. Well, that's the thing. You can't just because like, it's declare. been a word that has been used for work for everything. We yeah. even outside of cr the Christian world, the word uh, goal is more used by everyone. Vision, yeah. not so much. It's vision would be more. I feel like that's it's like kind a millionaire of like, kind of book, you know? Yeah, what I mean? big company <laughs> like CEO. What's the yeah. vision for a company? But I guess yeah, that's true. Like challenging people, like your vision can be doesn't have to be like okay, I'm going to start this multi million dollar business, you know? Mm -hmm. But like. Like, what is the vision for your life, for your year, for your day, you know? Wow. And it reminds me of, was it Proverbs 29, 18? I'm glad I wrote that down. Mm -hmm. um, but the people without vision perish, you know? And the Bible says that, like, that says it so strongly. Like, obviously, mm -hmm. like, we need vision. Yeah. Or else we shall die, essentially, to put it morbidly. <laughs> but uh, I guess now when you were saying it, I was thinking of the, you know, when... Well, not everybody fishes, but have you ever gone fishing and then <laughs> the you drop... The answer is no, I have never <laughs> yeah. gone fishing and no, I never intend to. So what <laughs> happens, you know, you throw the whatever, uh, what you the call the, the bait. There you go. And then the fishes are just going around and then when they see it, they just, they just grab it, you know, and then they get hooked into it. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have vision, whatever is just popping out in there that looks kind of good, you're just going to get hooked into it. And that's why... I guess that's how I linked your sentence, perish, you know, <laughs> with not having vision because yeah. you, you're you not thinking of like what you have to do next and exactly. what you're going to lose for getting that. You're just thinking this, 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 whatever, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like more a selfish uh, center um, motivation, you know. I want to get what it makes yeah. me feel good right now. Or what's Yeah, exactly. What's like the right now, like the easy thing right now? I'm hungry you know? right now. I want to eat now. Exactly. But, you, but like, dinner is in an hour. You don't. Yeah, I want dinner. McDonald's now, but I don't have money for the bus. You know, but <laughs> I don't care. I want. <laughs> that would be a little too close to home. Okay, you know. <laughs> Sometimes yes, I do walk so I can eat out. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was yeah. just the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Get personal. Don't bus. The way we like it. The way we like it. Yeah. yeah. But it is true, you know, and I'm, again, kind of like, obviously, because we just started, we're still in January, like the whole idea of like resolution or whatever um, is like still in my mind. And I, I do actually like that word, you know, in New Year's resolution, because you resolve to do something like, for me, mm -hmm. instead of, it's different than deciding. It's like, I feel like resolving is more of like, you know, you, you, you choose to, and you say like, I, I will do this no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. And like. I think that aspect of it is something that we should really like kind of take on, you know, let's be people with resolve, like mm -hmm. people that say, this is what we're going to do. And like, we're going to, we're going to do it. We're going to see it through thick and thin through the easy times, the hard times. Sounds like you marriage. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. It's just, anyway. it just made me think of just, when yeah, I was doing the vowels. Yeah. yeah. There you go. When yeah. you were doing your wedding vows, that's the thing, yeah. though. Because when you make a vow, you resolve to do something. Mm -hmm. And I think because in culture right now, it's such a flippant thing. Like, 
almost like we're cheating ourselves by saying like, oh, I won't make a New Year's resolution. Okay, maybe not a New Year's resolution, but it's saying like, I won't have any resolve this year. Like I won't be persistent. I won't be mm. perseverant, you know, because there is no point mm. because expectations weren't met last year, you know? And um, yeah, and I just think that's really like not an okay place for Christians mm. to be an understandable place, you know? Like it's not shocking that people think that way. Yeah. But like I don't think we can stay there, you know? And it's kind of have those moments where it's like okay, it's hard to hope, yeah. you know? But as Christians, like we have the hope of glory living inside of us, you know? Mm-hmm. So even in times when it's hard to hope, like we still have hope, you know? And of course you can't have vision without hope because if you don't have hope for the future, then you can't plan for the future yeah, or yeah. see anything in the future. Yeah, no. Um, but yeah, like I feel like that's like a highlight thing. Like for me, just this total like talk, you know? Yeah. 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 Is, yeah, I don't, like you cannot just um, take away the fact of what God has done yeah. for you already. What has happened already. Mm-hmm. Like it's, I I don't know if I'm pretty sure everybody kind of does this, but you know, like sometimes we go through difficult times and it feels like everything's just collapsing, mm-hmm. and we need to remind ourselves that we have been gone through through war stuff and we made it. We're yeah. here, you know. For some people, it's 2020, you know, well, for all of us uh, in many <laughs> yes. ways. But we are here, yeah. and we're having it like God has taken us so from through so much, and we have learned so much. They said, like I was saying, like to you like we cannot just take away the process you know mm-hmm. like we cannot just make it like it's nothing you know what we went through last year or our previous years you know it's it makes us who we are now mm-hmm. the decisions we made you know and now the next time we happens or whatever happens next similar things or whatever it's just gonna mean it's gonna feel like nothing in a way or it's gonna be a smaller step to make a bigger decision Mm. you know and i've for me that's a hopeful thought you know yeah um i've seen god doing so much for my life yeah and yeah i can just just i can just take that for granted you know yeah um yeah but something that was like uh thinking and has gotten me this year i was like which i have not really thought about it this way before It's like I thought of the word, uh, w- the vision, you know, yeah. uh, goals for this year. And you hear that like from everywhere, not just the Christian aspect, uh, even outside as well. Like, okay, what's your goals for the next year or whatever? And I never thought of it in the family side, on the relationship side. Mm-hmm. You know, I have been so stuck on like, okay, what God want, God like, wants me wants to do with my life what's the process that he's going yeah. through with me and how i need to learn and it's been more like a very self-centered thing mm. like i follow what he asked me to do and i try to fulfill it whatever yeah get close to him but i have not thought of the fact of what i put into this world you know uh, in p- the time i spend with people yeah Um, because again that's it's showing like how easy it's become self-focused you know yeah it's even in that it's so self-focused yeah and like yeah i i can recognize my i can see it on myself like in the past years you know just seeing like how i put goals for just this year on how i can get closer to the calling that god has for me Mm -hmm. but not very like people oriented how yeah yeah and it's just i don't know This is kind of maybe off topic, I guess. But no, nothing just, is off topic. I but feel. It, uh, yeah, I just thought it was so interesting. Yeah. You know, it's just it's so easy to forget. Yeah. You know, it's so easy to forget like that. It it sounds bad, but we do matter, and we do spend like each one of us make a difference in wh- where we go. It's not just like we're all here in a big body, but that doesn't mean that we're trans invisible now. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And that's how I've seen myself. You yeah. Know? Yeah. It's like we're all doing this and the goal is to do that and to make it happen. But I'm not thought yeah. of my input, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so for me, that's been a little bit of a, a 
groundbreaking for me for this well, year and something I want to, I guess, yeah. invest in it. Yeah. And ask, ask well, God I guess to. too, like if you don't have vision, then you don't see anything but yourself, mm -hmm. right? Because if I close my eyes, I know I'm here, but I don't know who else is around me, right? Yeah. So I think that perfectly goes hand in hand with what we're talking about and that whole aspect of that. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to say, you know. <laughs> It's just, um, I think it's a, a great topic. It's, yeah. it's something that you can like, I, I guess, guess say like, okay, you got it. Um, but at the same time, we know we don't, you know, like. It's one of those topics I feel like no one can argue with it. You know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, like that makes, that makes perfect sense, you know, mm -hmm. but why is it so hard for us to live? And I'd say us, mm -hmm. us as a church, but also us as in, yeah, like, yeah, in yeah. our lives, you know, yeah, like. Completely. Why is it so hard to be people of vision? Do you think? Do you have any thoughts? Do I have any thoughts? You know, like, because I think in order for us to be people of vision, we need yeah. to know, like, the enemy against it. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. like, because, I mean, maybe I just said it right there, but obviously if the people without vision perish, the enemy doesn't want God's people yeah. to thrive. No, no. So he'll take vision, I guess. Um but how do you take vision when you don't see yourself not being visionary, I guess? Yeah. Or I guess that's true. Sometimes we like blame the devil for like, oh, he's just like, you stole my vision. And it's like, no, you well, you never opened your eyes. You know what I mean? Like the, the devil is a liar, but mm. we, we choose to listen to them, mm. to the lies, you know? So it's still our responsibility, our, yeah. our fault. No, for sure. <laughs> for sure. uh, unless it's something outside of our own choices, I yeah. guess. Um, but um, yeah <laughs> but i think another like with that as well like i heard someone say actually i've heard many people say many times um but I, so a loose paraphrase but basically like sometimes the enemy like looks at us and goes like well i don't, I don't have to do anything with them they're already kind of like sabotaging themselves ouch yeah really harsh yeah um but true and i think one of the ways we do that is like by not having resolve or like not having vision mm. you know because if we don't if we don't have faith that mm. what God said about our future is there, then the enemy doesn't have anything to really like stop. You know what I mean? He's like, I don't have to bother with that because I think about like, we always say things that like the best is yet to come, you know, better days ahead, which yeah. are really awesome things. And like kind of almost like romanticized things. Yeah. But then we don't let go. That's the thing. Cause yes. we have hope, but it's a fake one. It's a fleshy one. It's for, mm -hmm. it's ourself. We made it. And we are like, uh, because yeah. how can you say the best is yet to come if you're still holding on to what you think is the best yeah. from the past? And then you, you're seeing what is happening as a bad thing, not seeing it as a process, as we were talking about. Yeah. But yeah, if like, yeah, <laughs> if we trust in God, then He's His goddess, then yeah. we are letting it go to Him. We are living our lives to Him mm -hmm. to decide and all mm -hmm. that. And I, I guess yeah. that's where where we like lose track like mm. because we we don't trust in god anymore we lost the trust and then we're like okay let me just do something else which i know is gonna give me some accomplishment i guess yeah and i guess that too is a difference between like surviving and thriving mm. you know like we a lot of people say they just made it out of 2020 you know but like that's not the fullness of life God has for us, right? But it, it's that thing. It's if we stop trusting God, if we trust his or stop trusting his intentions, his his character, his nature, what we know of him, we stop trusting that he's good and all this, then there is no, I feel like, even room to thrive, you know? And it's like we cut it immediately, like mm -hmm. right before we even get a chance, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. I guess the sad part for me is that I know that 2020 has shown to me who I really am I guess mm. like if I have not done the things that I wish I had done or I wanted to do or if 2020 wasn't the way it was that was because of me you know mm. mm -hmm. like I'm not talking about like I'm talking about like emotional like how um I could have grown as personally and all that yeah you know yeah, yeah. Something, too, that keeps coming to my mind is the whole idea of, like, the refining process as well. Um, and just kind of the whole of what you've been talking about, like, process and all of that. But, like, how the middle sucks, you know? But, 
like you get from like a piece of okay, I clearly know nothing of of coal, of of sediment, of something. Um, and it has to be processed, you know, or like coal is like pressed, like under pressure. Mm-hmm. And then it's a diamond and then the diamond has to be like refined and cleaned and all of that, yeah. you know, because there's a vision for it. Like if you're in the pressing, if you're a piece of coal in the pressing, but you don't have the vision to see that the diamond is coming, mm-hmm. then of course you're going to lose hope. And of course you're not going to like think anything better is coming and you're going to kind of give up on the process. Um yeah. But yeah, that whole just kind of idea of refining and like, as you said, seeing refining as not being like stagnant or just kind of like the bad mm. end of the deal. Oh, sucks to suck, you know. But the fact that the refining process, again, you just need vision for it. Because if mm. you don't have vision for that process, yeah, like you, you won't be able to withstand it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, something I saw... Um one of the teachings that we had and um, um, I can't remember Lucas is Anyways. Through his oh, eternity oh. is to know God okay so like I don't know it's just that I'm, I don't know why this made me think but like if if we want the vision mm. of eternity like the whole life we have ahead yeah. and what is to come we need to know God. We need to know God, yeah. yeah. And <clears throat> God is going to be, he, he is the center of life. Mm-hmm. And if we were not with him, then we don't know, know nothing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll anything. never have proper, <coughs> proper vision in that yeah. sense. Or goals or resolve, you know, because if he is what it's about, then, yeah. yeah. We make it so fake and outside. Maybe that's part of the problem too, actually. Is why like even us as Christians like have such a hard time like with goals or with vision or whatever you wanna kinda call it or label it under, is because we make it vague, Mm -hmm. you know, and we make it so kind of like it's an idea, it's a selusive thing. Mm -hmm. You know? To use the example, this year oh gosh. This year I'm going to like lose weight and it's like okay but like how how much when why Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. and like where's like the concreteness of it because when i think a lot of the times people like i mean (laughs) this is not coming personal experience (laughs) because i do not set new year's resolutions (laughs) like most people do um but from the statistics i say that most of them like fail by like february Mm -hmm. you know it's because they're so vague and they're so elusive right so you can set a goal but without having vision for it Right? Because if I say I want to lose weight, but there's no vision on how to get there. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, of course, I'm not going to keep that or I'm not going to maintain that. Mm. Um, and it just kind of takes me back to God because God is the only concrete thing. You know, like eternity is God. God is eternity. You know, yeah. that is something to base and like, like make a stable on if that. Yeah, that's the know? thing. I mean, you cannot, you cannot lose weight if you go if you don't go and search how to lose weight, yeah. you know, <laughs> and follow a procedure, you know, exactly, exactly. like God is, is the same, you know, it's mm-hmm. like you can have, um, vision with like your calling and, um, calls for God, goals for God and your life. If mm-hmm. you, if you don't know what God wants you to do and how to do it, you know? Yeah, that's true. It's taking it from this, this thing up here, like, Oh, like, do this be this whatever and mm-hmm. like reining it like reining it back in being like okay god like what is my what is the vision but then what's today's step as well like and i think that is something that we sometimes forget like there's a vision but there's also a small step mm-hmm. you know god trusts us with the little like he who is faithful with little will be trusted with a lot right so i think we make it vague because we we don't want to take any responsibility for it. Yeah. You said that and I was like, ah, commitment. Yes. Mm-hmm. Because we don't want to commit. <laughs> we want it to be far away from us. And it's yeah. like, ah, oh, it's not on my hands. I, it's, I'm not capable of it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Wow. I don't control it. I don't have any control over it. It's just what happens, happens, you know. It's yeah. very sad. Yeah. And I think this kind of whole idea is robbing a lot of Christians from the fullness of life. And... 
Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> no. I don't think that's okay. You know? But taking responsibility is tough, but it's so worth it. You know, committing is tough, but it's so worth it. Mm. You know? Like, you get so much more, like, I don't know say, like, satisfaction mm. or, like, something like that. Like, when you commit to something. If you're mm -hmm. just kind of there when something happens, you know? Then like okay like yay good job but when it's something you've invested in you've committed in you mm. you've taken responsibility for you know you've been there through the highs and the lows you know then when an outcome is produced you're so much more invested and so mm. much more involved you know and this fear I think of being hurt and being let down has robbed us of of that joy of commitment. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This, this is just uh, so strong. It just makes me think. So like, I did not know we were going here. Okay. Yeah. Like I not seen it. Uh, please, and if you guys know me, like I sound in a way negative, but I just mean it, like, it like for me it really does mean a lot. It's just I wonder like how many things have I lost, you know, mm. because mm -hmm. of thinking that way. Because I don't want to take responsibility. Yeah. Because I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, we don't want to take responsibility because we don't want to lose something. Yeah. You know, um, our pride. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah. it's just like oh, I don't want people to see me uh, struggling with this. This is not happening, and I'm put so much into it, and probably will think because it's my fault. Yeah. And, but just so many things. Probably, I don't know. I'm not saying it because I want to th focus on the things I've lost and make a pity party. No, but I'm no just pity thinking like here. no, but like more thinking like okay, Lucas, being honest, right? I like a reality check almost. Come on, yeah. Like, yeah. You lost stuff because you're just thinking on that and you're like, mm -hmm. you could have so much more, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, God has shown us so much throughout the Bible in Jesus as well, where like he demanded something, he asked for something, we think demand, but he asked for mm -hmm. it. He, and he had on his other hand something a lot better. So mm -hmm. we always think like that thing, you know, it's like he's going to take that one thing that I love so much, he's planning to give you more. And yeah. or we don't even know what we love if we're gonna be honest yeah like <laughs> my view of what i love and what i cherish you know mm. like mm, it's nine times out of ten not the right priorities yeah. you know so and we cannot it doesn't mean because god is asking you something that he's gonna give you that something that except ex uh, not the same thing that you're giving away yeah. but better it, yeah it, he's gonna give you what you need on exactly. that moment which in turn is better it is better but yeah but it's, it's not, not within our lines like, in no, the box no. that we put him in yeah and i think circling back around to vision yeah that's what i like about vision is because it's it's goal oriented but it it allows it to not be linear you know mm. vision changes and it adapts as we as we change and we adapt to what's going on you know like you can have a vision for this year and you know i don't want to say COVID, like uh, yeah the same thing that that could happen last year could happen this year but in the name of jesus it will not amen thank you lord you know the vision doesn't waver the way things happen might change you know but the vision stays the same no matter the circumstance, right? And it's that idea of, like, let's not, like, put things in, in my way and my time. God, I'll give it to you if it looks like this, you know, or God, like, I'll make a goal if it happens like this. And I think that's one of the things I love about the idea of vision is that it, it changes. It's adaptable. Like, no matter what happens, I still have my eyes set on on that thing, you know? Yeah. I guess after we have talked about everything about vision and now we know what it is and mm -hmm. the consequences of not having vision and what we gain. Mm. Um, and we talked about God and the benefits and not just the benefits, but the place that he takes like such a big place. Mm -hmm. Right. Then I guess that takes me back to like, okay, let's start the year. Right. Yeah. What do you want God for mm -hmm. this year? Yeah. What are your goals? What yeah. What do you want to do with my life this year? Because yeah. align our vision with his vision. Yeah, because um, we might have a vision, but it might not go at all with him. Yeah, and the chances for our vision to happen 
when they're not aligned with him a lot more, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, I guess, I guess this could be the wrap up of the, <laughs> it, it's just, yeah, let's start yeah. the year right. You yeah. know, let's ask God, what, yeah. what does he want for us this year? What does yeah. he want to do? What does he want to do? In, wants to invest in us and what does he want us to invest in? Mm -hmm. Um, like I was talking to you about like investing in people, like mm -hmm. seeing and being aware of yeah. God wants to use me as well. And like, what are my goals for the people? You know, I cannot just be and know them, you know, mm -hmm. but like the, our relationship has to grow as well, just like God, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. I don't know. Would you say that was your, um, your closing statement? Yeah. <laughs> I will not let this die. <laughs> no. statement. So. No, but yeah, I think, yeah, for me, that will be a closing statement. I guess it's just to know, like, um, we need to know God and mm -hmm. to to know where we're going and to ask him so that we can, we can have a bigger vision, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, he's going to give us the vision. He's going to give it to us uh, literally in our hands how we should do it, you know. He's that mm -hmm. good. Yeah, he is. Awesome. In my closing statements, um, I think just really like have the courage to like dream again, you know, or to hope again, mm -hmm. or to see that like like it's worth it to have vision, to have resolve, to have you know goals in the good sense, you know, mm -hmm. or um, to have something to work towards. Mm -hmm. You know, don't let discouragement um, kind of like prevent you from from like, yeah, I guess have hope. Mm -hmm. Uh, having hope um, would be yeah. correct, correct grammar, but just that whole idea of like the best is yet to come, like because with God, it literally life doesn't get easier, but everything gets better. Yeah, you know, because you know more of Him and He shows you more, and you do more with Him, and it's awesome. You know, and like if you're still on this earth, like there's a reason for it. You know, like there's life in its fullness, like waiting for you, readily available for you. Mm -hmm. Um, so just like you know, like. Yeah, don't let discouragement or like unmet expectations stop you from from living with vision, you know, and ask as you said, like ask God what that vision is, you know. Be okay with it not mm. fitting into your boundaries or be okay with it, you know, moving and changing throughout the year, you know, but like yeah, just just go for it. I don't know. Yeah, I just yeah. want to like, you know, just do it, you know. <laughs> just do it like <laughs> the like video. The <laughs> up, like do it. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, yeah. And I guess if you feel discouraged, um, I mean, I, I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, when, when it sounds like you, you know, everything, but like when we actually in the moment, we, we forget about it. Yeah. I do feel like that in this moment, but yeah. <laughs> anyways, like, um, when we feel discouraged, we should ask him, what's he doing? Because, mm. um, we feel discouraged because we don't know what he's doing. We don't see the, um, the spiritual world. we only, we want to see achievements on the physical side mm -hmm. and i guess a good thing to do would be to ask him like what are you doing god what has changed what have you done in my life and mm -hmm. um with how close are we to the vision that we have yeah uh, yeah what has changed in yeah. a good way you know exactly exactly being adaptable and flexible and yeah yeah this is good awesome this has been a good talk. This is a, yeah. a, a good one to a, like, good step for the first yeah. year. Well, no, what? <laughs> a good first step of the year. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Y'all got good me. Good first step. It's a good first step. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Um, but yeah, we hope that to everyone that has been listening, that you guys have enjoyed this. It's encouraged you to, yeah, to live with vision. Um, yeah. And to, to be encouraged, I think. Um, yeah. For, for what is to come because God's not done yet. No. Um, yeah and we would love to hear from you as always so if you have um, any questions any comments or even any topics that, that you want us to talk about yeah, um, please let us know um, because as you know we love to talk and we love to talk about um, yeah. yeah things that, that God's doing and um, how he's moving and yeah how we can just develop our relationship with yeah, him so. and well we haven't talked about this but we have been thinking about for a while that we want to do a live a stream at some point where we will have like we can have a Q and A time thing, mm -hmm. and just how do you say it? just 
be alert. <laughs> this might happen soon. It's called but Watch the Space. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's how the influencers say. So. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> um, awesome. yeah, so we will have one of those at some point yes. uh, soon. We will tell you the date and hour and everything when it's going to happen. So we're very excited at some moment. Sometime we would do that. Yes. Yeah. But, yes. yeah, but let's then, see what God does. Exactly. And we will be back next week with another episode. Yeah. And we will see you then. See you then. Thanks again for joining us for today's episode of the Anchor of the Week. Make sure you follow us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next time.